Welcome back to more Minecraft Exploration and Tactics with Brian. And today what I want to do, last time we basically went into the nether and built a second portal. Um, just to kind of like test out the warp zone functionality of portals. Uh, but I built it all, I basically made a tunnel through some netherrack. Um, and so my portal and the whole tunnel to get there is not well protected. From the point of view of gas, could destroy it pretty easily. And so today... I want to go back with the intention of reinforcing it and basically building cobblestone structures to reinforce all the work that I've done. So just like I built cobblestone around this so that ghasts can't attack me with fireballs and destroy this area, I want to do the same thing for kind of like all the traveling I've done between here and there. And I don't think it would be very interesting, and so I'm planning to edit out almost all of this, uh, but I'm going to keep the video running because you never know in the nether if something interesting will happen. So, here I go. Haven't seen any gas so far, so that's a nice change of pace. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is just extend this with the idea now. Oops. Okay, so now when I walk out... I can walk through a protected tunnel over to my main tunnel area, and I don't have to worry about that being destroyed by ghasts. But then when I get over here, I know because I accidentally encountered it when I was hauling out this room, some of these walls are just one thin, and then there's other things behind it, and so I want to replace this area with cobblestone. Aha! And so here is an example of where there's no wall. <laughs> Oops. Alright, and so that's the room walls. And now, finally, the ceiling. Okay. So now... Alright, so standing back, so now I feel like this portal room is relatively safe from attack if I try to step outside it. I'm not too worried about gas firing on me and destroying all the nether rack and basically leaving the portal kind of exposed. So I can step in and out of this portal without having to worry about the world next to it being totally destroyed. Alright. And so now, between my original portal and that portal that I built as part of the warp zone, I have safe travel pretty much the whole way between here and there uh, without ever having to step kind of out into the world where I'm open for gas to get at me. So that was the general idea of what I wanted to accomplish, and so I'm going to use that same idea now to continue traveling south in the nether world in order to create a warp zone that's going to be south more through the normal world. I'm not going to do that right now, but I'll go ahead and drop off some cobblestone so that I'm ready to do it next time. 
Welcome back to more Minecraft with Brian. Uh, and while I definitely have unfinished business in the nether, uh, at the same time I am interested in doing some spelunking, maybe find some more diamonds, maybe finally find a skeleton dungeon after finding a couple spider dungeons and zombie dungeons, uh, but never finding a skeleton dungeon. So I've got an inventory that's good for going down into the mines, I think. Uh, and it happens to be morning time, and so let's get started. Do my usual morning look around, make sure I don't have creepers falling on my head. So that hissing sound is actually this crackling fire. Uh, and yeah. I put it there because it was just kind of like something to demonstrate when I came back from the nether with my nether rack, but uh, yeah, it's not doing anything for me other than distracting me and making me... I hear it and I think, oh my gosh, there's a creeper, and then I realize it's a fire, not a creeper hiss. And so I'm just going to take that down. All right, so let's go down into my mine, and I don't have a real plan for today, uh, and so I don't have like an initial direction picked out or anything, and so I'm going to just pick a random place to get started. I can't remember if we've searched all the way through this before or not, because we came over here, and this is where there was the underground lake, right, that I went and searched down into... And I guess didn't find anything in here, but I think I'm just going to pick a random direction. And from here, oops, first of all, not drown. Yeah, I think I'll just start going this way until I hear some noises or break into a cave system. And so that could take a little bit of time. And so I'll bring you guys back in when something interesting happens. Oh, and by the way, for working underground in close quarters, I turn the smooth lighting off, uh, which makes it easier to see as you're kind of moving down a narrow tunnel. Um, but I'm going to try to remember to turn the smooth lighting back on uh, when I get to other places, because it looks better in other places. But for short mines like this, I feel like the non-smooth lighting is better. All right, see you guys in a little bit. All right, so unfortunately I missed something a little bit interesting. I was uh, doing some mining, and I heard some skeletons, and so, well, I heard a skeleton. Uh, and so I started mining over in that direction, and ended up opening up this thing, and he fell down into the chamber with me. Uh, and so I killed him, but he managed to uh, hit me a little bit. And so I'm going to go ahead and eat some food uh, to heal that back up. And, okay, and yeah, I was using some armor that was almost used up, and so that also finished off my boots, but I have some... Uh, more ready-for-wear armor. And along the way, I did also find some iron and some more coal, uh, so that was good. But in any case, it appears that I've broken into a cave system now. Uh, and so that's why I've started the recording back up, because... <laughs> and there's a falling arrow from the skeleton that just got some hits off on me. All right, so let's see where we are. I don't hear anybody else. don't hear footsteps either. Looks like there's two directions to go. This one looks like it might be a dead end. Yes, that's a dead end. There's some iron right here. So I will go ahead and take that, but it looks like, even though it's upwards, there's something to go here, and I do want a cave system, and so, oops, we'll head in this direction and see what we find. All right, I need a step. Yeah, unfortunately, I only heard the one skeleton, and I expect that this might be a small chamber. But maybe after I dig through some of this gravel, we'll find something. All right, it's just a dead end there. And looking up here, I don't see anything. Aha! However... Whoa! <laughs> uh, all right. That could have spelled disaster. Always be careful when you're digging up, boys and girls. Um, yikes. Okay, so, well, let's carefully now... Looks like there might be more of a chamber over here. All right, lava over here. I'll look over there in a sec. Oh, no, this is just, I guess, as I've been digging some of the gravel out, uh, where it fell down and opened up a ceiling. Um, all right. So there's lava over there, and I can't tell if it's coming from what might be more of a chamber over there. And so I want to get over there without killing myself. 
Uh, and so, and I guess I hear the lava flowing. I hear some kind of flow. Let's see if I can go slightly around it. Oops. <laughs> nice job, Brian. Put up a torch, knock down the torch. Oh, got some coal here. I turned off the smooth, smooth lighting, and now I'm in a close chamber again, and it's pretty dark. But I like coal. Ooh, and I got some iron. All right. Uh, I think that's all there is to mine right here. And so I'm going to go back into where this lava was coming from. Let me put up another torch. Let me mine back over here. Oh. All right, I seem to already be behind where the lava was. There it is. All right, it looks like there might be a room over there, so let's try to open a bit more of this up. Yeah, sorry, this little bit's a little slow. Iron I do want. Oh wow, this is a good bit of iron. There's like six or seven pieces here. That's good. Um, all right, and unfortunately, yeah, it looks like the lava is just coming out of the wall here. And so I am going to put up a couple of torches. Do, 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 and then plug it up. Actually, I don't really need it for anything, but in the future, I might want it. And so, assuming that is a source, yes. I will collect it in a bucket. Hooray! All right, and then that lava will go away. Or will it? I really uh, haven't observed enough flowing lava to completely understand kind of its physics in Minecraft. Hey, cave sound. That's promising. Uh, yeah, and so I don't completely understand exactly uh, the mechanics of lava. And at some point, as I've mentioned before, it would be fun to do another Minecraft series that's about like Minecraft physics or Minecraft contraptions or that kind of stuff. And so perhaps I'll do that in the future. In any case, I heard a cave sound, and so I think I'm just going to start randomly cutting through over in this direction and see if I find another cave. And so I'll bring you guys back in when it gets interesting.